Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about chronic lung disease on base of sickle cell disease. Chronic lung disease in sickle cell anemia is one of the pulmonary complication that can occur with sickle cell disease. Clinical presentation. Patient often present slowly progressive decline in pulmonary function individual affected with hemoglobin SS. Individual usually have a preceding history of several events of acute chest syndrome or sickle cell disease. Pathology. Established fibrotic lung chain from a repeated episode of pulmonary infective and microocclusive events. In plant radiograph, significant radiographic interstitial lung disease has been seen in patient with sickle cell disease. A chair radiograph may also show other cicular from sickle cell disease, such as bone infarct, rib enlargement, and cardiomegaly from anemia. Frontal and lateral chair radiograph reveal mild alloy cardiac silhouette, H shaped vertebrae. Bilateral patchy homeral head sclerosis, absent spin shadow, calcified gallstone in the right upper quadrant abdomen, and unenlarged hepatic cilad. No acute pulmonary pathology ever. This is the spinal X-ray on lateral view. In sickle cell disease, we can see H-shaped vertebra. Chest X-ray illustrate dilated main pulmonary artery and increased pulmonary vascularity in a 39 years sickle cell disease patient. Right heart catheterization confirmed pulmonary hypertension with MPAP of 30 mmHg pulmonary capillary wedge. Pressure of 10 mmHg. Pulmonary vascular stand of four wood and left ventricular and just pressure of H mmHg. In CT finding, meso in. Thirty short chain with septal sickening with opacity and traction bronchiectasis. Dilated secondary pulmonary lobular CT scan was in a five years old girl with sickle cell anemia. Right up low has scattered. Parenchyma band and sequence interlobular septum. White arrow indicated. Several secondary pulmonary lobules in the same region are hyperattenuated and distended. Black arrow indicated. This finding is a 
attributed to focal area of scarring causing extraction on the adjacent normal secondary lobule. CT scans of a 12 years old girl with sickle cell anemia. Image A in the right lower lobe have multiple hyperattenuating secondary pulmonary lobule. Black arrow indicated adjacent to second interlobule subtype. Y arrow indicated this lobule are probably dilated from tethering from adjacent fibrosis. Image B triangular area of the hyperattenuation arrowhead indicated distributed along the pleura of the middle lobe are consistent with pleural scarring. Many are continuous with second interlobular subtype arrow indicated. The three image severe interstitial disease in a 36 years old woman with sickle cell anemia and a CT disease index of 2.9 sin section CT scan obtained with the person patient in the prone portion so bacillar interstitial disease manifested as interlobular septal sickening head arrow indicate traction bronchial dust solid black arrow indicated dilated secondary pulmonary lobule open black arrow indicated and architectural distortion the left lobe lobe so mark psychiatric so volume loss with the major physio displacement Australia, Y arrow indicated. For image mosaic peer fusion in a 54 years old man, sickle cell anemia and pulmonary hypertension. Sin section CT so a large central pulmonary artery compared with the adjacent bronchi arrow indicated consistent with pulmonary hypertension. On both sides, the peripheral lung is hyperattenuating with vascular structure that are diminished in comparison with those in central lung, consistent with a pattern of mosaic diffusion. Take home say pulmonary involvement in a leading cause of mortality among sickle cell disease patient and can be acute or chronic. Acute we call acute chest syndrome, sickle cell anemia, and chronic lung disease in sickle cell anemia. Thank you.